it's this guy back at it again for another video and today I'll be showing you how to make the maze game which I've shown at the start of the video so let's start so what you're gonna do now is go um, take out the uh, cat and delete them and now take a new sprite and then zoom in and this one's going to be yellow. I need to fill them in. Okay, so what we're going to do with the sprite is let me make him two miniature eyes. And then make the I mean the mouth, yeah. Okay, now that we have got the sprite character, the person, now let's make it a bit bigger to fit size. So now we're going to make the background, uh, make another sprite. This time, zoom this one all the way out and make the color black for this and make it a bit thick not too, too thin so the sensors won't get it but like just the right like thickness and now let's move in here Move in here. Like this one. And then the end is going to be right over here. This may look like a weird maze, but yeah, I don't care. Now let's put start. Just gonna be a dream. Then the end part. I'm gonna change this. This is like too crazy. We need something simple. And then we want this to be green, so let's swap it out to black again. And then make the ending right here. The end is going to be red. So now let's center this. Okay. Now let's set the size for the, I mean the position for this um, background. So it's going to be when clicked. I mean, yeah, for the background. When clicked, uh, set size, I mean, go to, uh, 
zero and for y it's gonna be zero by the way this is for sprite 2 not the character and okay so now time for the character so what we're gonna do now is go to when clicked when green flag clicked which is in the event section um, go to motion and take the uh, the go to X and Y um, and then take a forever loop and put an if then statement inside of it so and then go to sensing uh, which and then take the if key let's say left arrow press then change uh, x by 5 negative 5 okay and then take uh, another if block this is for the so then you don't bypass through the walls. Um, what you're going to do for this one is take an if, which is in the control, and do if, um, go to sensing, touching color, uh, go to black, then we need to counteract it, so it's just take this, duplicate it, change this to 5 so it stays in the same position. And now let's start the program. Oh, yeah, by the way, add wall so then it won't. So then the player who's playing this won't cheat, and I forgot to do that. So let's just add in the walls. Okay. Now we got it. Okay. So it's good. So now let's try. So see, he's not going through the walls. And uh, now go to scripts again. Um, now duplicate this uh, three times. Oh no. Good. Okay, now what we're gonna do is do the right arrow, uh, put the right arrow, and then change X by just five. And then, if touching color black, then do negative five. If uh, key, let's say up arrow, uh, take out the change to x by negative five, and then go to motion. Put in change y by um, uh, five. Take up the change x again, put in the change by y. This time it's going to be negative 5. Now, and then now go to the down arrow uh, section and take out the change x by 5, and then put in the change y by uh, 5. And negative five, and then take out the change x again. Wow, it worked. And put in the y, and then um, this time do just five, and then we're done. Now let's see if he can get bypass through the walls, and he cannot bypass through the walls. So now, once you touch the end position part, what we're going to do is 
make him say a word or like make him say done so what we're gonna do for that is stop that and um, take another if block put it inside of the if uh, put it inside of that and if touching color which is in the sensing area um, take this and go touch that red and then um, what we're going to do now is the uh, in the looks say done and then just duplicate this and that whole part Oh my gosh. Take out this. Uh, do this and then just duplicate this part. Duplicate. Duplicate this, um, four, t I mean, three times. I mean, yeah, four, duplicate it four times, and um, pop this in there, drag this back, pop this out, put this in, pop this in, then pop this out. And then put this last one in. Okay, so now let's start it. Now let's see if it works. Yay, we're done! Woohoo! And that's how you basically do it. You're done. You can change up the maze if you want, you can make extra levels to it, and hope you guys like it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment below of what you want next, and if we can get at least 5 or 10 likes on this video, or any video that I do, uh, I'll do something very crazy on Scratch, like a very, very crazy game, which doesn't even make sense. And subscribe. Peace. Mm -hmm.